afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at this local trade we just got in. It came out of Nashville, Tennessee area. This is a 2004 Georgie Boy Pursuit model number 3500 DS. 35 feet long with two power slide outs. It's only got 16,900 miles. Excellent, excellent condition. The only thing we got to do to it, folks, is um, you may have noticed the slide toppers look a little ragged. We're going to replace the fabrics on both of the slide toppers, so they're going to be brand new. The awning canvas looks great. This is a nice motorhome. Uh, these people traded this in on a diesel. They used it for local camping, which here in the southeast is very, very easy to do. Since just about anywhere in the southeast, you've got just tons of different camping spots within a two-hour drive of where you live that... You could literally stay in a different campground every weekend and, and not stay in the same one twice in one year. Uh, this has got a great looking exterior. It's all fiberglass. Like I said, it's going to have new awning canvases over the slide toppers. Goodyear tires. It's got the full basement. It's got a 5500 watt Onan uh, marquee gold generator. It's running perfectly right now. It's got a DSI water heater. Hydraulic leveling jacks, two big slide outs. I've got them kind of tight in here, so I really can't get good shots of some of the other sides, but the corners look great. You always want to look at the corners because people who are not paying attention will back up and hit stuff with the rear corners, and that's why anytime you look at a used RVs, you always want to make sure the rear corners aren't beat up. And they're not on this one, everything looks good big deep this is the bedroom slide right here folks and look how long it is it's as long as a super slide out no delamination anywhere that i can see i've got the motor running and the generator running it's got two dsi furnaces uh, of course that does have the aluma guard on the awning that protects you from sun damage to your fabric Plus, it also protects you in case you get too close to a limb or something like that. It doesn't rip your canvas. You know, it's a good thing to have if you if you can get it. Um, motor is a Ford 6.8 liter Triton V10 with 16,900 miles on it. 305 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. There's probably more Ford V10s in motor homes than any other engine ever made. I mean, they are great matchup for this size vehicle. It's going to have plenty of power. It's got that Ford torque shift transmission, which is their version of an Allison. Uh, that runs great, drives great. Like I said, the people traded in from the Nashville area. This isn't something that's been up north. You have to worry about rust and all that stuff. Just a good fact, it's still got the uh, RV sticker on it where they bought it in Nashville. Got the double power steps, look, works great. Let's take a look inside this 04 Georgie boy. You know, we've sold a bunch of these. You know, they make Cruise Master, Pursuits, Landau's. Oh, uh, they make a bunch of different brands and we sell a bunch of them. Both the windshields look great. There's no cracks or rock pecks or anything like that. Here in the front cab area, of course, I know it looks kind of different on the video, but the rear camera system works great, nice and smooth. It's got the heated power mirrors. It's got the jack system, CD stereo, and something else that's unusual, folks. The dash air is ice cold on this motorhome. I've got a 2008 Winnebago myself, folks, and cost a whole lot more money than this one did, and the dash air doesn't work on it. Of course, it's one of those things that's really not worth getting repaired because... They're pretty much useless in these big motorhomes because it's like, uh, that's what I tell people, dash air on a Class A is like having a 400 degree oven, putting a single ice cube in it, expecting it to cool that oven off. It's not going to happen, it's just going to burn more fuel. It's always better to run your generator on your roof air if you want to cool the RV off. But the dash air is ice cold. I normally have my digital thermometer with me, folks, but I can assure you that it is blowing cold. Uh, Pioneer CD stereo looks like it's got a little remote with it. They've updated the TV to an HD TV over the old CART TVs or the CRT TVs. Um, got the fog lights, emergency start, TV booster. Got the, uh, of course, the driver's side door. 
not something you're going to use very often, but in an emergency, it is a nice thing to have. Of course, you got visors. They've put a JVC surround sound system in here, the previous owners did. Notice the motor's running right now. Notice there's no check engine lights, no brake lights. You know, no ABS lights, which are pretty common on Fords. None of that. As you can see, the camera system works great. Got a built-in level right here on the dash. Let me get on up here. And got the flex steel captain's chairs in the front. They look great. Of course, only 16, might as well say 17,000 miles. You really wouldn't expect the seats to have any wear on them anyway. All original carpet that looks great, folks. This, this is all original carpet from 2004. And it, you can tell they've really taken care of this motorhome. Got a Queen Island pull-out sleeper sofa. Got a table booth that makes an extra bed so you can sleep up to six. Uh, roof air is ice cold. Notice it's got the carpeted headliner. And look, folks, look around the vents. Notice there's no black residue or no bleach spots. That is a very good sign that the previous owners have kept this thing up because if you don't change the air filters on your roof air conditioner, a lot of people don't, you get a black residue that goes around your vents right here. You cannot get that residue off without using a cleaner that's so strong that it bleaches this right here, this carpeted headliner, bright, bright white. So if you ever look at a motorhome and it's got the black residue around the vents or the bleached out ring where they've had to use cleaner that it bleached it out, that means that people didn't take good care of it. And you always want to be cautious on one that hasn't been taken care of because it doesn't matter how good of a buy you got. If the RV has not been maintained and serviced like it's supposed to, you're just taking on somebody else's headache. This one right here, I have no doubt in my mind from talking to the people and seeing the condition of this motorhome, it's been well taken care of. Uh, got the really nice upgrade faucet. Got a space maker coffee maker. It's got an LP stove top and oven, which doesn't look like it's ever been used. Microwave. And I haven't cleaned this either. You can tell the, the plate's loose. Uh, where they drove it in here, so obviously we haven't cleaned it or they would have adjusted that turntable plate back to where it's supposed to. And I haven't had the fridge on very long yet, but it's already getting cold. Of course, we, we check all this stuff, folks. When you buy a motorhome from us or a travel trailer fifth wheel, we've got an extensive checklist that my RV techs go through after you purchase the RV covers all the major system, the appliances, the refrigerator on gas and electric, all your LP components, your water heater, your plumbing, your air conditioners, your heaters. It covers pretty much all your major stuff. Now, if you want a copy of this checklist, if you'll contact my non-commissioned sales department, they're more than happy to send you a copy of a blank checkout. We don't do a checkout till it's sold, but uh, you can see exactly what we cover and what we guarantee to work on it. Uh, this unit's got a manual point satellite dish. And like I said, ice cold roof air. You can see there's no water marks anywhere on this headliner. This headliner's also got the sound deadening material, so you don't get a lot of road vibrations and outside noise with this. And a good thing about it, too, if you ever have a leak with one of these carpeted headliners, it's pretty evident because it shows water stains really quick. These people obviously kept this thing maintained because I've seen no signs of leaks or leak damage from previous or present leaks. Uh, table booth makes a bed. Couch makes a bed. Dometic two-way RV refrigerator freezer. Got some nice adjustable shelving back here. Uh, your pantry. Some drawers down here. Little countertop extender for extra food prep area or you can use it for a cutting board. This is what's really neat about it, folks, is I, the size of this rear bedroom. This slide out with this bedroom starts here and it goes all the way to the back of the motorhome. This slide out is just about as big as the one in the living area. You've got your bed in it. You've got this huge closet and it's lighted, of course. Tons of space. Of course, here's your sticker, uh, 2004 Pursuit 3500DS and all your, of course, other information as well. 
Lots of drawer space underneath it. This is all solid hardwood cabinets. You've got a Queen Island bed. Privacy curtain right here if you want to separate the bedroom from the bathroom. Go ahead and cover the bathroom while we're right here. It's a side bathroom, so if you're in the restroom getting ready, you're not blocking access to the closet right here to the rear bedroom. Uh, sink. Got the glassed-in shower skylight. Look around that skylight, folks. Again, notice no water stains. Got the nice plastic surround walls that goes almost all the way up to the ceiling, so that protects your walls. Actually, it does go all the way to the ceiling. You know, a lot of brands cheap out and just put it at eye level. And a lot of times you can get water damage above that because there's nothing to protect your walls from getting splashed. This one here is covered. Uh, medicine cabinet. You got duct work in here. And, it, and this is another thing you want to look for too, folks. A lot of manufacturers skip this. You always want to make sure there's heat duct work in your bathroom area. A lot of times they don't. And uh, it can get cold and freezing here if you keep this thing closed off. It's really cold outside. But, of course, they went ahead and they got duct work in here for your furnace. So, no problems there. As long as you got the heat on, you're going to worry about nothing freezing. And this is a huge area right here. There, there's probably four foot between the bathroom door and the closet right here. And, I mean, enough that two people can pass each other without bumping each other. Uh, there's storage underneath the bed back here. It's got the day-night shades and the windows. It's got his and her nightstands. So great place to put your phones and plug them up and all that good stuff. Ah, still got a TV in here. It's original CRT, but hey, it works and it fits the hole perfect. So you've got mini, mini storage right here, and you got a probably a full-length closet on the other side. I don't think storage space is going to be an issue with this floor plan because. On top of having all this right here, like most RVs have, you've got that huge closet in the hallway, so you're going to have plenty of room for storage, plus everything else. Uh, this is a nice unit, folks. 16,900 miles. It runs and drives great. We're going to make sure everything on our checklist works. And you can see already that the generator, the roof air, everything else works. And this is a great buy for only $29.9. And don't let other dealers fool you. I've heard other dealers say you can't buy anything decent under 30 grand with two slides and low miles, but here you go. Great financing's available. We have interest rates as low as 3% with approved credit. I'm going to go ahead and lock this door here. That way nobody interrupts us. Uh, I have extended terms up to 144 months, again, with approved credit. I have no extra fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, no dealer fees whatsoever. So on top of having the, some of the lowest prices on the internet, we don't hit you up with these extra fees. You know these other dealers, they're going to hit you up with an $895 prep fee, a $300 dock fee, a $150 title fee, a $100 temporary tag fee. All those fees they charge you are 100% dealer profit. They're completely unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. At Parkway RV Center, we have no extra fees. We have the lowest prices on the internet. We've been in business over 48 years. We sell over 500 motorhomes, campers, and fifth wheels a year. And we sell them nationwide. We don't just sell local folks. Believe me, we 90 plus 90 to 95% of our business is on the internet. Uh, we don't have uh, any commission salespeople. All my salespeople are salary only. So no high-pressure sales tactics, no games, no gimmicks like these commission salespeople do. Plus, it saves you a lot of money buying from a dealership that does not use commission salespeople, and I'll tell you why. Commission salespeople are what other dealers use to keep a large sales staff, and they only have to pay them when they sell an RV. In other words, if they don't sell something for a month, they don't get paid for a month. That means they're going to be very high-pressure play a lot of games to try to get you to buy because all the time they spend with you and if they don't sell you an RV it's just time wasted and on top of that their commission rate industry standard is 25% of the gross profit so that means that dealership if they have commission salespeople have got to mark their prices up an additional 25% to cover the salesperson's commission that means and they and they designed it like this on purpose that means 
The dealership don't pay the salesperson. You do by paying 25% more for the RV. Happens every day, folks. A lot of people don't think about it that way, but it's true. Uh, my people, my salespeople are salary only. They get paid exactly the same every single payday. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you buy one from us, if you buy one, if you buy 20, it, they get paid the same. If you don't even buy one, they get paid the same. This way, instead of working against you, like a commission salesperson will, where they're always looking out for themselves instead of your interest, my salespeople look out for you because that's what they get paid to do. They don't get any incentive to sell. And the logic behind that is when you have the lowest prices on the internet like we do, there's no selling involved. I mean, when you can buy something here for $29.9 that's going to cost you forty grand plus at other RV dealerships, plus fees, plus higher interest rates, and all the games and gimmicks that they have, it's a no-brainer. I mean, let's see here. I can buy one with 16,000 miles in Ringgold, Georgia for $29.9. I can go to this big chain dealership who doesn't care about me, looks at me as a dollar sign instead of a person, a corporate dealer. And I can pay forty grand plus they're going to hit me up with two twenty-five hundred dollars in fees for the same motorhome with more miles. Let me think here: twenty-nine nine or forty-five thousand plus. I think I'm going to go with the twenty-nine nine one, folks. I don't know about you. Pretty easy decision. And we sell in all fifty states. Don't don't let distance scare you, folks, because I sold all fifty states. And when I say all fifty. I'm including multiple sales to Hawaii and multiple sales to Alaska. Over 2,000 motorhomes, campers, and fifth wheels have left Parkway RV Center and went all over Canada to Canadian buyers. I've sent over almost 30 of these overseas to Italy, England, Australia, the Netherlands, and other countries. And these buyers didn't come hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles away just because they like us. They came that far away because we saved them a lot of money. Just like we can save you, and if you think about it, you know, if you wanted to come in, buy this motorhome, we're going to have RV techs go through it, cover everything on the checklist. You can fly into Chattanooga, Tennessee for four or five hundred dollars from virtually anywhere in the country. I have buyers that do it every week. We'll pick you up for free during business hours, bring you back here. My RV tech will go through the RV with you, go through the checklist with you, show you everything on that list works. You drive it home. Gas right now is like a buck eighty-nine a gallon. It's very, very cheap. And even if you've got to drive it home 1,500, 2,000 miles, you've saved yourself several thousand dollars. And getting a nice southeastern motorhome, not something that's been up north that's all rusted or something that's been down in Florida that you got to worry about the rubber roof getting ate up from the sun or the salt, uh, salt water breeze rusting out the frame. This is a south, southeastern motorhome, Tennessee motorhome, so right, right there is it's quite a bit of value too, folks. I mean, that's why shoppers come to the Southeast anyway, because we have the best looking motorhomes out there. That's why they come from up North or down South Florida and, and all that stuff to buy RVs here in the Southeast because of our, the condition of our RVs look a whole lot better than RVs from other areas of the country. 29.9, that's a firm price, no extra fees, uh, 3% interest rates with approved credit, terms up to 144 months, no commission salespeople, no games, no gimmicks. Nationwide delivery is available at cost. I've got drivers who have been doing this for years and years and years, folks, and they I've got them all over the United States right now delivering RVs and campers to people who bought over the Internet. If you're interested in this motorhome and if you want to see it in person, Call, make an appointment with one of my non-commissioned salespeople. They prefer to operate off appointments only. Uh, this way we can have the generator on, have the air on, the fridge. You can see everything on at work. And we can show it to you the way it's supposed to be shown. Now, if you just want to come browse, I've got over 150 used RVs. You're welcome to come anytime. No appointment needed. Um, you know, if you have a question, you can come in the showroom. One of my salespeople will get freed up off their appointments or sales calls. And they'll be more than happy to answer your questions. But like I said, folks, we get over 200 plus calls a day, over 100 emails and several appointments every day. My guys try to schedule their days a day or two in advance. So if you if you are gonna come, you're a serious looker, and you wanna come look at this particular one, if you'll call ahead and make an appointment, we really do appreciate it. And our customers like it that way. This way they get dedicated time with one of my salespeople. 
without having to share them with other appointments and sales calls and stuff like that. So if you don't mind doing that, we really appreciate it. And, and of course, you know, we sell most of our stuff sight unseen over the internet. So you're more than welcome to read my eBay feedback. I'm a certified power seller on eBay with hundreds of positive feedbacks. Uh, we sell three or 400 RVs a year to people who we never even get to shake their hand. They, we, they buy them sight unseen over the internet, we deliver it to them. And uh, folks, if you have any questions about anything, we're more than happy to send you additional pictures, different video angles, whatever it takes, folks. We're, we're here to earn your business. You can check our feedback. You can see we're very trustworthy. And you can check our Google Plus listings. I've got dozens and dozens of pos uh, positive customer testimonials from customers who came from all over the country to buy campers and motorhomes from us. And uh, folks, uh, you know, it, and of course, you know, 48 years, family owned, family operated, third generation now. We've sold literally tens of thousands of RVs and motorhomes all over the country. Heck, all over the world, really. So if you have any questions, feel free to call us. 706-965-7929 uh, is our phone number at the office. After hours only, uh, which is 6 Eastern Time, you can call 423-605-6747. Uh, either one of those numbers can help you out. And if you want to email my sales department, it's sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. And as you probably guessed, my website is parkwayrvcenter.com. We got 150 used RVs in stock, more arriving every day. I don't have everything online yet, folks, because we get about 20 in a week and half of them sell before I can post them online. So what I recommend you do is look on my website, save it to your favorites, like me on, like us on Facebook, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you don't see what you're looking for, give us a call, get to know one of my salespeople, let them get to know you. Remember, they're non-commissioned, so they're here to concentrate on your needs instead of their own. And uh, tell them what you're looking for. You might be surprised. We may have the motorhome or camper you've been looking for for months in stock at a price that's thousands less than you ever thought you could have bought it for. And it's just not posted online yet. And, they can, and my salespeople can send you pictures and details about it. Give you a chance to buy it for it post online because... Once a video's up and they're online, I have, you know, it takes me a while to do a video. I can only do one or two a day, but they sell within a few days. That's why I tell people, if the date on the video is more than two or three weeks old, it's sold. But this way, you get first shot at it before it gets posted online, and, you know, nothing wrong with that. And if, and if by chance we don't have what you're looking for, well, as many of these things as we get in a week, It'll probably be in here pretty quick. And then again, you can get a chance to buy it before I post it online. Uh, like I said, you can fly in. We have tow dollies for sale if you want to drive your own vehicle and tow it back. If you want to rent a car to get to us, a lot of people do that as well that don't like to fly. We'll help you drop the car off at our local rental car terminal. And the same thing, we'll go over the RV with you, send you on with it. Give us a call. Drop us an email. Uh, if you want to talk to me directly, folks, I do not take calls. Um, I'm just, I've got so much going on here with my responsibilities. I'm not in sales. I'm in marketing, but I'm still more than happy to talk to you, but I can't take calls, folks. Uh, you can send me an email. I'll be more than happy to respond to the emails because I check those from home. And my email is bo, B-O, at parkwayrvcenter.com. And I'm not in sales, folks. If you just got general questions about the brands, the RV lifestyle, I've been around it over 20 years. I've owned just about every make and model camper and motor home you can think of. I've lived in one uh, before building a house. I've, I've done a little bit of everything when it comes to RVs. Worked on them, delivered them. And if you just got honest questions, you want to talk to somebody that has experience that's not going to try to sell you something, give me an email. I'm more than happy to give you an honest answer to your questions. And if you have a sales questions, folks, like I said, I'm not in sales, but I'll make I'll find out for you or send you to one of my salespeople. Um, so don't don't be afraid to email me. I get several emails a day from people who watch my videos, and I'm always happy to answer them and answer any questions you have about anything to do with RVs. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Check out this 2004. Pursuit while it lasts. It's a 3500 DS with 16,900 miles on it.
not going to last long for 29.9 firm. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon in Ringo, Georgia.